Hey, welcome to the channel this fine, fine day. Um, how was your season reset? Did you guys uh, get to open your draft chests and whatnot? I opened mine this morning. Um, didn't get much out of it. I got a whole bunch of gold, 2,000-ish to 2,500. And then the big finale was um, the guards. So um, not great. Didn't get a legendary, unfortunately. So I was disappointed. Um, what can you do? What can you do? Um, anyway, so grew a lot, ton of subs over the weekend. Thank you guys for subbing to the channel. Hopefully, we can keep you entertained. Let me know what kind of decks you guys want me to play this week. Um, maybe I'll throw some new decks in there that I've never played before. But today, what we're doing is we're gonna get into, a, we're gonna just do a classic challenge, and I might switch decks. I got a, um, a deck I've been trying out, <laughs> another graveyard deck, you know. And so <laughs> we'll see. It actually did really good for me right before the the season reset. I won like you know like five in a row with it and then after the season reset i lost like you know five in a row and so i'm kind of i kind of got mad and then i quit and so now we're gonna see how we do in this classic challenge with it so let's get it going and i kind of kind of show you the ins and outs of the deck here it features um it's a deck that i seen on um clash with ashes channel and i think he featured somebody else and i can't remember his name right now who was super good Super good. So he knows what he's doing, and I obviously, um, I know what I'm doing too. What are you talking about, Chris? 99, the Italian legends. All right, so this is kind of a crappy starting hand. Usually I like to start with the bowler or even I'll cycle with skeletons. It has skeletons in this deck. So this is kind of a crappy starting hand. I don't know what to do here. Maybe I'll just put Baby Dragon in the back and see what he does after that. So we're going to go on that side just to see if we can't take out this little Sparky and take care of him we might have to launch a defensive graveyard because we don't have a whole t oh that might actually work really well because of the bandit and whatnot so we'll see if the bandit starts locking on those skeletons yeah that worked out pretty well pretty dang good so the sparky will start hitting those skeletons we should be able to clean that up pretty good with you even with the e-wiz down there so we'll put that skeletons down hopefully it's, yep hopefully it focuses on the skeletons so we can keep our bowler alive holy cow sparky dude i've never seen a sparky stay along he stayed alive for like a year and a half. Good for him. Good for him. So we're going to go with a nice little push here on this side and see what we can do. I think we're ahead of him on Elixir or Elixir right now. So we shouldn't be too bad off. So what we're going to do, our knight's pretty much going to get toasted by Sparky. So we're going to put a defensive graveyard down. Hopefully we can get one skeleton off. Nope. Focused on the knight. Good for him. Good for him. So we we'll, should be able to take that giant out with the bowler and with that mega minion. We might have to put some skeletons down just so that giant doesn't get any hits. And then that way also we should be able to, um, gosh dang, what do I waste? What do I waste? Sparky is just cleaning up on me because I don't have no zap. Usually I have a zap or something of that nature. So we'll put knight down again and then we'll throw the graveyard back at it again. Graveyard, sh hopefully, Sparky, focus on the skeletons coming out. Quit hitting my good stuff. Gosh dang you. So we'll put poison down. We're going to put poison down, see if we can't get that tower down a little bit more. Oh, excellent. He dropped E-Wiz in the poison zone, so that worked out pretty good for us. Oh, and Bandit died, so good for that. We'll put skeletons out here, and then we're going to go ahead. We're going to clump all that together, and I think that did good for us. I think, it, yeah, it didn't do too bad. So usually, oh, Gosh dang it, he keeps coming at me with that stinking Sparky. So we're going to come right back at him with a graveyard. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't focus on the bowler. Gosh dang it. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll still be able to get in there. We'll put a poison in there just to take care of the E-Wiz. Hopefully that should clean that up. Unfortunately, he put his giant down on defense, which was a good move. Um, kind of a defensive, offensive giant, I guess you would call it. And it did pretty good for him. So he's going to throw another Sparky down. Usually, I should do a little bit better. Oh, so we're going to put Graveyard down now. And we should be able to clean that all up. We'll put a Poison down for whatever he's got. Hopefully, yep, he is. And then maybe we can... Come on, just take the tower down for heaven's sakes. We still don't have tower down? What is going on here, kids? What is going on? This might be a little bit of a problem. So we're going to pull all that back just for a second. And then we'll just do that and that because we got to distract a bunch of crap. Ooh. 
This is not looking stellar, but it's not looking too bad. Okay, so our bowler stayed alive at least. Now we should be able to graveyard poison and then... Or even just poison. Holy cow. But it looks like... Oof, oh. Okay, as long as we can get one skeleton to the tower, we'll be in good shape. <laughs> Come on. Just one, just one, just one skeleton. No, not even one, okay, good. Holy cow, I guess the poison did it, so that's good. Okay, so we took that out, not too bad. So that's a good deck, not too bad. Um, let me show you this other deck that I've been using. Um, it's kind of fun as well, you've seen it. I think a lot of the uppity ups, the, a lot of the uppity, <laughs> a lot of the uppity ups are using it, and so, um, you know, you've seen it before, but it's fun deck because, um, I don't know, it features the golem, and I don't really play with the golem a ton, but it actually works for me. I should have used skeletons there. That's my bad. Don't yell at me, okay? Don't yell at me. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Crap. Okay, so we'll throw the furnace out there. Hopefully, we can get a little bit of damage there, um, Get take that knight out. Maybe we'll put skeletons up there just to distract those archers just for a little bit so they don't take out everything. And not too bad. We clean that up pretty good. Um, archers are dangerous, man. They're mean. And we'll just log that barrel away. Not a problem. Take care of that. So he's got princess. He's got a little bit of goblin barrel action. So he's got a lot of stuff to try and bait us out. But we don't have a lot of zap bait cards. So that's a problem because we weren't ready for that. And I launched seven elixir to take out three elixir. Super smart. Good job, me. Gosh, I'm so dumb sometimes. <laughs> okay, so hopefully, um, hey, that worked out really well. It took out his little archer chicks, so that was good. So we'll come down this side. That way we can take out, oh dear, that's a problem. We're gonna be toast, toast, toast. Oh, we are gonna be so toast, so toast, come on. Oh my heck, we just toasted ourselves pretty hard on that side. But that's okay, we got a good push coming our way as long as he doesn't have an Inferno Tower. I think we should be okay. We should be... <laughs> We're screwed. Oh my gosh, that was bad luck. You're not supposed to have an Inferno Tower when I'm trying to do something here. Gosh dang it. It's going to show you how cool this deck is. It did so good for me earlier and then all of a sudden, here we go again, you know? <laughs> Here we go again. I actually got like nine wins with it, which isn't bad for me on, you know, a classic challenge. So it's pretty dang good. Oh, you think you got that tower? Don't give me no crap. You don't got that tower. I'm gonna put that at the bridge and then we're gonna come in hard. We're gonna come in hot. We're gonna come in real hot. Hopefully you drop that Inferno Tower. I dare ya. I don't care. My Mega Minion's gonna go. It's gonna clean things up. And then we will, oh, I should have done lightning on his butt. <laughs> That's what I should have done. Yeah, we took out the Inferno Tower, so you can eat that for Christmas. We'll take out Princess, we'll get a Furnace in here, and then we'll drop some Skellies, take care of that. Drop Baby Dragon, take care of all that action. And then we should come in real hot with a... We need to get... Nope, Golem's not going to do anything for us. Why am I not attacking the other side where I have 1500 damage? I'm retarded. We're going to Lightning all that. Boom, boom, boom. And then we should be able to... Oh, we actually got pretty close to taking that tower down, guys. Really close. Okay, so that was a bad one. Let's try that again. See if we can't do better a little bit, okay? We're going to compare these decks. That graveyard one that I just used versus this one. If I can't get a win with it, then I'm going to go back to the graveyard one. Because, obviously, this one ain't working for us. Stupid. Stupid. Useless golem, anyway. Okay, so we'll drop Furnace, carefully. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. I'm okay with that. And then I think I'm gonna Lightning just for fun, right? <laughs> he raged up, so that worked really well. He really, really wanted to push that Furnace over, I guess. I guess he was, he hates Furnaces like I do. I hate Furnaces, absolutely hate them. And so he wanted to take care of that and it just didn't work out for him, it didn't work out for him. So we should be able to take that Electro Wizard out with some minions. Since he's got, we got a Fire Spirit coming in, so no problem. No problem, I said. No problem. There we go. I should have put Golem on the other side. Ice Wizard coming in hot. I'm not too concerned about, I'm actually more concerned about those Elite bar Barbarians than I am about anything else. 
Oh, but holy cow, that Mega Minion just cleaned those up, didn't it? Holy cow, what the heck happened? I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, put the Baby Dragon up there a little bit too much. Yes, okay, whole few. Okay, I thought it was going to shoot my Baby Dragon instead of my Golem. <laughs> but we're okay, guys, we're okay. Okay, take out that E-Wiz. We need to take that E-Wiz out, and we need to take that Knight out. That Knight's doing a ton of damage. Ton of damage. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. We got that tower down. That's pretty much gone. We're going to put a furnace on this other side. We're going to get ready for another push of his and see what he's got coming our way. We're just going to annoy the crap out of him on both sides. That's what we're going to do. You get a golem to the tower, it's game over, pretty much. So that's what that's what our goal is in life. I think we pissed him off. I think he's gone. I think he left for summer vacation because he got so mad. He rage quit. <laughs> and I don't see why. He could have come back. He could have come back from that. Eh, probably not. Good point. He probably couldn't have come back. So, not too shabby, uh, did real good for us, so we'll get skeletons in there, we're just gonna get Babe Dragon in there, we're gonna get Log in there that I almost missed, Tower, and then whatever else we got coming our way, so it's over. So that's good. Um, man, Golem versus, okay, so Graveyard is, oh my gosh, dude, so random, dude, I did, I dropped the Graveyard a couple games ago, did like three damage to the Tower, three, not 300, three. And then I dropped it and it took out a whole tower. So random, such a random card. So it's definitely, there's some luck factor involved in the graveyard, but I think more skill, right? Okay, so anyway, that's it for today. Um, thanks for dropping by the channel. I hope you liked what you saw and you know, leave some comments, likes below. Um, hopefully next tutorial, next build. Ah, I'm just getting, um, kind of finishing up some things on that and I should get that out soon, hopefully soon. Anyway, if not, eh, sooner rather than later. And then I get another video that's kind of cool coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, yeah, leave your comments, be sure to subscribe and good luck.